one is sweetheart. It's five minutes and one in the morning on the 22nd of February. I've been walking around for four hours. I miss you so much. My whole spirit hurts. My my soul. I was thinking about the promises you and I made each other, both in Maine, all the way to Virginia, and while we was in Virginia. I hope this don't piss you off, sweetheart, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to put those promises together 100% right now, and from now on, you made me promise you that I would always fight for you and the baby, that I would never walk away that I would never give up on our baby. Sweetheart, now more than ever I'm going to tell you that promise. I'm walking through the park right now. It's cold, it's snowing, and my mind is crystal clear. I hereby promise you, sweetheart, just like we agreed, I will never allow someone to take you from me. I will never allow someone to take our baby from me. I will never walk away from you. I will fight for you legally. And if I fail legally, I will fight for you physically. This is what you and I begged each other to do. Now it's time for me to not only be the fiance that you deserve, but also the dad that I want to be. And that's one who will fight for my family. I love you so much. I am never going to allow anybody to take you from me. I am never going to allow anybody to take our baby from me. I made that decision up tonight after walking out here four and a half, five hours. I make that promise as true as it's snowing right now. I love you, sweetheart. I remember when you told me when you found my hair on my back that I had a good soul patch and my soul was good and that I just needed to realize it. I believe you now, sweetheart, because my very soul is telling me never, ever, ever to stop fighting for you and our baby. Please don't take this as a threat, hon. Babe, I beg you, don't take this as a threat. Instead, take it as a promise that you and I made. I'm not going to allow anybody to have you but me. I'm not going to allow anybody to raise our baby but us. I will never belong to anybody but you. I will never walk away from our child. I explained that to Vicky today, well yesterday actually, and she said God will be the one to determine our course. God put us together, I think you know that. There's no way we just accidentally came into each other's lives. God brought us together for a reason. I'm not a Bible thumper, but I've asked Christian and non-Christian the same thing and I've explained the entire circumstance to them. and both agree, both Christian and non-Christian, that for whatever purpose, whatever plan, whatever reason, somebody brought us together for a purpose. I think I know what that purpose is. I really do. For us to love each other, for us to bear that child, and to raise that child to be somebody very special. And God damn it, I'm never going to allow anybody to take that from us. I'm going to make another small video when I get where I'm going. And I'm going to tell you exactly what's in my heart. Sweetheart, today's February 22nd, 2015. It's a little after one in the morning now. My love for you burns like a fire. My spirit aches. My soul aches. Because we're away from each other right now. 
I've been sick in a friggin' dog every morning, almost like clockwork, for a week and a half. It's almost like I can sense our daughter. That's how special you both are to me. Honey, sweetheart, babe, I love you. Little one, daddy loves you, sweetheart. I love you.